Uh, today is all about how AI is being used in business today. I I'm Dan Gretsch, and we're going to launch right into our case studies, no messing around. So we're going to start with uh, one of my favorite case studies is uh, Farhan Chawla and his uh, seven-year-old daughter, uh, Zaina, created a children's book with an accompanying audio book that's now for sale on Amazon. Uh, they did it using AI uh, and a variety of different tools. He's going to walk you through how he did it. But the reason why I want to start with this, I, I promised you uh, to talk about how AI is being used in business. And yet here I am talking about how a seven-year-old girl uh, in Pakistan wrote a children's story uh, based off of her pet goat, Ronaldo. And so you might say to me, what the heck does this have to do with AI for business? And I say to you, amen. You know, the bottom line is this. Before you start playing with these tools in your business, play with them in your personal life. Tell bedtime stories like I do with my four-year-old son using ChatGPT. Have, like I did, the neighbor's dog write a letter to your children. Use this to draft a poem to the, from the tooth fairy when your daughter loses a tooth. These are all ways that I'm using ChatGPT in my life. I even had them compose lyrics about me farting for Father's Day. So the bottom line is I'm learning the tool and how to use it and where its limits are by doing it in the least high stakes environment possible, which is with my family. And what it has done for me is gotten me comfortable with the tool and it's allowed me to bond with my children in ways I never thought imaginable. And so with that, um, you know, we're gonna have Farhan come back at the end. Uh, he's the director uh, of a major pharmaceutical company and he's gonna talk about one of the most sophisticated data analytics use cases you can imagine. But I wanna start with Farhan uh, and Zaina and Billy Bakins, the adventure of Billy Bakins, the magic begins. So uh, Farhan, uh, it's it's phenomenal uh, to have you here. Thank you so much and uh, take it away. Thank you, Dan. And hi everyone, my name is Farhan Chawla. I run a pharmaceutical company in Pakistan and I'm an avid AI user. Me and my seven year old, we are like every morning when I drop me to school, we are using different tools. Sometimes we are going through mid journey, sometimes Firefly. She likes writing prompts and seeing the output which we are getting. So the idea for the book came in uh, because she has a pet goat which we bring it over for on our holidays. On June, July, we get have holidays in Pakistan. So she gets a pet goat and in between she started reading Harry Potter books. So one day we were just discussing and we thought, oh, why don't we take the goat, we take the Harry Potter and we combine both of them and come up with a story. And then we put the whole thing on chat GPT. We asked it to that there's a goat which lives in a city called Goatshire, uh, somewhere in Northern Scotland. The way we went in, we defined the whole data to it. There's a goat, the goat's uh, town, and also it's based in Northern Scotland because we can get all the surroundings of Harry Potter and everything. And also that how we can go in a Harry Potter setting with it. So we created a prompt, we gave it to it, and also made it suitable for children about seven to 10 years old. And then we started getting the output. The output was really great, which we got. We got uh, multiple stories out of it. We selected one, we tuned it a bit, and we started uh, using Canon. Then can you go for the next slide, please? Okay, uh, for the next, uh, what we did, uh, when we got the content from Chat GPT, then it was easier to create the photographs. It was easier to go for the uh, development of the book. We start picking the uh, picking up the uh, the content. Start making prompts for Mid Journey. All the images you can see over there is made by Mid Journey, and we didn't did much to it. Right now, Mid Journey has advanced a lot. I'm talking. This book was created about three months back. Mid Journey was you know so um, in what it's right now. So you, we start you, uh, Mid Journey, you, you, creating the output we like. Sorry to interrupt. You cut in and out a little bit. Yeah. So let me just kind of give a quick summary. Um, number one is. He used four tools to build this book, ChatGPT to develop the story and the text, MidJourney to develop the images, DID to do the voiceover, and Canva to 
to design the book. Yes. Uh, can you go so, to the next one? Now? Okay, now this is the chat GPT prompt which I used, which actually both are talking about and then used, that you are a famous children's story writer. We started uh, the role-playing game with the chat GPT. Your main character is Billy Bunkins, a fun-loving young Billy goat who lives in Goatshire. Again, it's all defined what the uh, town is. A mythical town north of the United Kingdom. Write two stories with dialogues about Billy's life and him having fun in Goatshire. The stories are meant for children under 10 years old, but have to be fun and witty, so kids will start liking it. As you need to publish stories, also write prompts for Dal E. The problem is having, it was not working for mid-journey, so I start uh, 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 asking it to write prompts for Dali, which are using the same prompts to generate a mid-journey to make up accompanying illustrations. You have complete liberty to write whatever you want, but add element of magic in it as bleak uh, bonk inspired by Harry Potter. So now I also got Harry Potter in it. Do not use Harry Potter character names, but use some of this uh, friends. So we started, uh, we did that, and you can see in the quaint town, uh, quaint town of Goatshire, our uh, gentle hills and grassy meadows lives a remarkable little, little Billy Goat named Billy Bonkins. And got the same prompt, which I used for Mid Journey to generate this photograph. Jen, can you go for the next one? Yeah, so I want to point out a couple things that he mm -hmm. did really well. This is a very sophisticated prompt. It looks simple, but I want to just point out a couple of great things he did. First of all, quick question. You wrote Billy Bonkins with an N, but the book is called Billy Bakins with a C. Yeah, a slight uh, spelling mistake because Billy Bakins also uh, suggested by ChatGPT. So uh, sometimes it happens that when I'm tapping it down, it becomes Billy Bakins instead of Billy Bakins. So who came up with the name Bakins with a C? Was that you? Uh, ChatGPT. Okay, it's a better name than Billy Bonkins, honestly. Yeah. So, uh, you know, this is where ChatGPT can actually improve you. So first notice, you are a famous children's story writer, right? So you're telling ChatGPT who it is, and then you tell them who it's writing for, children under age 10 years. Then you're telling them the tone, fun, witty, and engaging. And then you're telling them the key information they need to write the story. Very, very sophisticated, smart prompting. Yeah. Those are all best practices for prompting. Telling ChatGPT who it is, who its audience is, and what tone to write in. Now, Midjourney, so Dali is uh, OpenAI's version of Midjourney. There are three main, um, you know, image uh, platforms. Midjourney is our favorite. Uh, with where it is right now. So he tried to do it with Dali. He went to Mid Journey, but all these beautiful images you're seeing on the left uh, are Mid Journey created. And so uh, talk about the prompt for Mid Journey, please. Okay, the prompt which you use is Draw Billy. It was basically meant for Dali. We picked it up, we uh, prompt, uh, changed a bit and put it on Mid Journey. Draw Billy, a small Billy goat with a lightning bolt star, uh, star shit, uh, standing on a hill overlooking the peaceful Gorcha, a town in Northern Scotland. Now, the reason I defined Northern Scotland was because I wanted to have the mountains and the grayish tone which Scotland usually has and the green meadows. So start getting the same thing. This was the first output, the image, which Mid Journey gave to us. And we liked it instantly. Basically, Mid Journey gives you four outputs. You can choose from them. And this was one of the four which we loved. So we just picked it up and start using it. Love it. Now, Mid Journey um, is, uh, you know, one of different, several different tools. Uh, it can be hard to get the right outputs. So you started by using Dali, gave them this prompt, and it didn't create the same quality output, correct? Yeah. Okay. Uh, next is DID. Okay. Uh, then when the book was made, we thought about adding, because there's some also smaller children who don't know how to uh, read. So we use the DID, it's a digital uh, tool in which you put in all the text and, and also choose your avatar and it starts uh, talking about it. Then can you play the video, please? It's a link to it. In the quaint town of Goat's Hire, amidst its gentle hills and grassy meadows, lived a remarkable little Billy goat named Billy Bockins. Unlike his fellow goats, Billy had a unique feature, a curious lightning bolt-shaped scar on his forehead. One sunny morning, as Billy was chewing thoughtfully on a patch of clover... Uh, that's enough, Dan. Uh, so, as you can see... All, is this a hu real human being? No, it's an avatar picked from DID. Yeah, so this is an avatar, this is not a real human being. And you can see, if you look, 
you know, her lips aren't perfectly matching the words, but, uh, and that voice is also AI generated. So this is an entire AI generated, you know, voice, uh, voice over in video. Then what I'm doing nowadays, I'm generating uh, the whole avatar, the whole persona on mid journey, and I'm putting on DID and making it talk. It's from my internal office uh, training videos. Fantastic. So, so that's DID. Um, and then uh, whoop, let's move on. Then finally, you brought it all together in Canva. Yeah, finally, we uh, picked up the images from Mid Journey. Canva has a whole uh, storybook format. We start putting it over there. Then we start uh, addressing the text onto, on, on it. It took, some, it took a bit of time, the designing, you know, to see how the text sets up on the image and everything. And then we took the DID. DID already has a, uh, Canva already has a built-in DID uh, uh, tool and connection to it. So we just picked the video from there and start cutting it as per the page and pasting it over there. So all the pages you can see over there with the avatar on, on it, they're gonna talk about the same uh, 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 text which is on, on that page. After it was all done, it was time to po uh, post it. So we went to the Amazon Kindle marketplace and we start and Kindle uh, and we started uh, uh, uploaded over there. There was a, uh, a bit of a process with them. They went through it then there was some Q and A with them. Finally. Uh, it got published in Amazon Kindle. Perfect. Um, you know, this is uh, uh, just an incredibly uh, elegant example uh, of uh, how to use four different tools. I mean, in fairness, Canva is more of a, you know, book production tool. I wouldn't call it an AI tool. It has AI features, uh, but, you know, the Canva piece uh, wasn't really AI, but you needed to take the raw material, the text, the images, the audio, um, and uh, I understand that you're actually now um, building a second book in the series. Yeah, the second one is ready. The third one's in process. And hopefully, actually, we are on holidays right now. So by the end of next week, it will be posted. Everything will be posted. So I had the pleasure of meeting uh, Zaina, your incredible, precocious, brilliant daughter. And uh, I just want to say as a father, congratulations to you for, for doing you. this. Uh, we'll come back to you a little later to talk about other ways you're using it with Bosch Pharmaceutical. Thank you for that. Sure.